It was some sort of uh, nefarious agenda that they had against you, and this could be really pissing them off. They could be mad about it. You're safe from harm. You're safe from some sort of something that somebody was trying to do to you. It has something to do with them trying to um, limit your success or make you give up on something or make you self-sabotage or something of that sort. You were able to stay in control of your power. Of no, man. They took all my money resources away. You know what I'm saying? They took all my money resources away. And when they took all my money resources away... That took away from me taking care of my family, you know what I'm saying? And then I wasn't going to go for that, you know what I'm saying? So I said, man, if money is do, doing all this, you know what I'm saying, then I can't be playing with money, you know what I'm saying? I can't give y'all money, you know what I'm saying? I can't, you know what I'm saying, uh, real well be God if I gave y'all money to kill, steal, and destroy over, you know what I'm saying? And then blame God, God doing all of it, you know what I'm saying? Talking about God killed Christ and stuff like that. Man, come on, man. Who, who, you know, why would y'all even say something like that about God, you know what I'm saying? It's God, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the girls say, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got all kinds of evil schemes, evil tricks that y'all doing. Man, get out of my bag. That woman knows she ain't been married to me since we got together. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all know all oh, she was doing was lying to the Social Security and all that there. So, get out of my bag, man. Social Security. And get my goddamn money, world. You know what I'm saying? Else all y'all gonna be cursed. All the ones that's supposed to be cursed anyway. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody, like y'all say, God gonna do. No, just punch the ones that's trying to dog us out. You know what I'm saying? Get them out of office. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because we don't need no devils in office. So just boot them on out, tell them they fired. You know what I'm saying? And then all them church preachers and stuff like that that been stealing money. You know what I'm saying? I forgave them already. But I don't want to see y'all up there taking no offerings no more. You know what I'm saying? That's real stupid to just do it in my face after you know I ain't for that shit. I say I desire mercy, not no sacrifice. All that money y'all stole. Then when I come and you do me years and years of injustice. Oh man, come on now. You just thought I was gonna do. Be your punk? Shit, you a goddamn fool. I'm from Jamaica, not America. My Jer my sister named Jerry. Nigga. Sugar man, my brother, that's Kane, you know what I'm saying? And then Robert James, you know what I'm saying? Well Robert Blackman became Robert James. Terry. Bubba, William, you know what I'm saying? All my kinfolk, you know what I'm saying? The only ones I really got, you know what I'm saying? That's my stepdaddy's side, you know what I'm saying? Then I got me and Simon and Quinn and them, Mom D and Uncle Richard gone now, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't no more Uncle Pick. You know what I'm saying? Oh boy, you don't even get me started, nigga. You have me God up here crying. You have God crying, boy. <laughs> you have every star crying. <laughs> the moon crying. Everything crying. Don't do it, God. Don't do it. Don't do it, Daddy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. We had that from last week. <laughs> oh, man. They're going to have another funeral today. Oh, man. See, I die every night now. You know what I'm saying? I die every night. You know what I'm saying? Wake up next day, shit. Gotta go to work. You know what I'm saying? Shit, don't get paid, shit. You better call that bank when that check come. 
You get your phone turned on and you call the goddamn bank. All you got to do, you tell Alex, whatever that boy name, Ashton, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Ashton, it's Adam Jackson. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to say. It's PNC Bank. Or call for Monica. You know what I'm saying? And say, where my money at? This God Adam Jackson from YouTube. I want my money, and I want my money now. You know what I'm saying? I want my truck, and I want my truck now. You know what I'm saying? My house, too. You know what I'm saying? I want everything my family's supposed to get from PNC Bank. Your, um, your greatness, so to say, you stay loyal to yourself. You do not give up on yourself or up on your situation or up on your divine mission. That could have something to do with it. Someone may not agree with your divine mission and may have been trying to get you to give up on it, but you did not give up on your divine mission and because of this, you are, are very successful, okay? And you have freed yourself from some sort of uh, negative energy, negative vibes, or some sort of trickster energies that were not right for you, that were not good for you. You realize who was against you, who was not for you, who was trying to cause some sort of stagnation, difficulties, things of that sort. Yeah. They were trying to keep a union from happening. They were trying to keep somebody from choosing you. They were trying to confuse you to where you wouldn't be able to make the right choice or the right decision or that somebody wouldn't choose you or that somebody wouldn't be able to recognize that you chose them, so to say, okay? Or they wanted you to feel ostracized like nobody wants you, nobody likes you, you're not welcome or whatever the case may be. But I see that you have something to be very excited about, something to be very happy about. This could have something to do with a celebration of some sort. It's like somebody don't like to see you happy. They don't like to see you winning. They don't like to see good things happening for you. But they don't have to watch the shit happen anyway. Because uh, it don't matter what the fuck they want. That's what these people. That's what these people need to realize. It don't matter what the fuck they want. If God wants you to win, you're gonna win. Simple as that. <laughs> Simple as that. So let's see a little bit more into this situation, y'all. These people are something else. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Using AI to help you produce better music cheating, or is it just the future? Let me ask you this. For when people were using consoles like this only and recording the tracks. Okay, so you earn your money or your success, etc., by honest means. Okay, you're an honest person. Um, some people can't deal with your honesty uh, because it, it basically shows the truth about them that they may not want to admit or that they don't want other people to see. Um, someone could have thought that you were scamming people, that you were um, tricking people or, or whatever the case may be. And others are realizing that you are legit, you're, you're the truth, you're, you're genuine, you're real. You're not, um, you don't have some sort of nefarious agenda against them. You're not trying to, you're not lying about what it is that you're saying or what it is that you have experienced or what it is that you have dealt with. And people see this, this makes them very excited because they did trust in you. They did have faith in you, but they could have been wondering, you know, or like second guessing themselves, like wondering, well, what if they weren't thinking right? Or what if, you know, whatever this other individual was saying was real or true? Okay, some of you all have left somebody or you stopped dealing with someone because you realized that they were not really for you. They were not loyal. They could not, they could not be trusted. Okay, or um, that they were misleading you on purpose. Or again, like I said, that's, that's what somebody's goal was. They were trying to get people to separate from you, to get people to leave you, to get people to not trust you, to not... Um, want to be around with you or involved with you. Someone could have been trying to mess with your subconscious mind to get you to, again, self-sabotage, to think self-sabotaging things or thoughts, to, to, to do things or to mess up what good you have already, okay? To, they were trying to keep you from going after your divine mission, like I said, or to make you feel like your divine mission is something different than what it is. 
You know what your divine mission is. You know what you're meant to be doing, what you're meant to be putting your energy, your time, your efforts into. And part of what this is, is the things that you really love, the things that you really enjoy, that really just um, make you feel awe-inspired by and, 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 and you never run out of energy for, so to say. There is someone or something that could have been trying to get you to um, do things from dishonest ways or reasons. Okay, you're very mysterious to a lot of people. If you have some sort of gifts or abilities, somebody may find these gifts or abilities to be very mysterious. Okay, um, they find the things that you have experienced to be mysterious. They could be one, they could be wanting to come towards you to find out more about you or to know more about you. Um, because you're very intriguing to them. Oh, wow, you had the Justice card, card again. What I'm sensing is that um, someone or people know that a lot of people are intrigued by you. They're really um, attracted to you or they really see something in you worth, worth a value. And they want to find out more about you. They want to get to know you more. They want to see where you're coming from. Uh, or they have done this and they see you as somebody worthy, right? But there's an individual or a group of people who could be working overtime trying to basically make people who actually may want to um, hear more about what you have to say or see more about what you have to show them or whatever. It's like they're trying to tank their image of you before they even get a chance to see or hear what it is that you have to tell them or show them. Okay? Um, but whatever they were doing, is it's not working. In fact, it actually makes people more intrigued. It makes people want to know more about what you have to say, what you know, where you're coming from, what you've experienced, what has gone on in your life. For others of you, what this is, I do sense that if somebody was trying to trick you out of your secrets or coerce you out of your secrets, it's either because they were trying to steal something from you or they were trying to, um, especially to, again, because you have the secrets card here, all right? They were trying to either one-up you somehow, basically like if they could get you to express something personal about yourself or something that... Um, not a lot of people know. They could find a way to taint it in the public eye or um, find a way to make it seem like you're lying about something or that something that you're saying isn't true. Or even if this is something that you created, something that you designed, something that you hold dear to your heart or whatever, they could have been trying to steal it from you and represent it as their own. Okay? Um... You got to hear about this thing. It's like having the eyes of a hawk in your pocket. So there's That's this gadget brain developed right for there. the U.S. Special Forces. And it's wild. Picture this. A tiny device. That ain't my immediate family. That fits immediate right in your pocket. But don't let it size fool you. This bad boy can zoom in on stuff miles away. I'm talking about seeing the color of the bird's feathers from across the lake, miles across. And the kicker? It takes photos and videos with this insane camera that can take pictures and videos and videos with this insane click. And they say little slick slide things to you to try to get, it's like they're trying to trick you. They're like sitting back thinking, well, if they say this to you, then you'll do this. If they act this way with you, then you'll do this. And in the end, you'll end up either giving them some sort of secrets or telling them something or whatever. But what they don't get is these little games that they're playing is only causing them heartache, pain, suffering, etc. Okay? Because they shouldn't even be messing with you like that. And the divine ain't having it, right? Whatever it is that you express or that you share, if they steal it from you, or if they try to represent it as their own, or if they're trying to get these sort of secrets or this knowledge or this wisdom out of you for nefarious reasons, they're going to have to deal with God about that. And God ain't going to play lightly with them. Because they're trying to do this for some of y'all to block or stop a divine mission that you may have. Or they want you to be miserable or to feel like you can never succeed, like you can never attain or reach 
some sort of goal that you're meant to attain or reach okay and y'all could have been dealing with somebody like this or somebody and um you realize that they have some sort of alternative or hidden motives or agenda or something like that to ask you why they were saying certain things to you dealing with you or whatever and you decided to um get up out of that situation you let that person go or let that situation go because you know what the deal is now for others of you there's somebody who you could have been nervous about you could have been thinking that they were doing stuff to try to steal from you or to try to um block your success or stop the good that you have going on and really they're just curious about you they just want to know more about you all right um and you're just gonna have to use your discernment to know the difference okay they see you as a star seed or as like so you have some sort of god power and they're really curious about it okay yeah it's some sort of psychic abilities that you have someone's really curious about it or they could be like really um enamored by it you know i'm sitting up here right now the only thing running through my mind is calling the bank as soon as i get paid and get my phone on calling the bank and telling the bank what i got in there and it better be 66 million multiplied by 8 billion. 66 million multiplied by 8 billion. That's all my dependents. Now all this, you already shut down. Now I just shut you down. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't handle 66 million multiplied by 8 billion you can't even count that so we don't want to lie to you and you don't want us to hear you lie to us in this god talking now i'm coming to pnc bank i'm gonna call first and i'm gonna get me a purchase order then after i get that purchase order i'm gonna call ashton and monica and I'm going to say, one of y'all going to help me because this God, Adam Jackson. And I don't care how YouTube do their thing. I do my thing the whole different way. I'm God. And all y'all my dependent. So I'm talking to the bank now. Show sure is. This Ashton and this Monica and this the whole world at PNC Bank. So we're going to give you what you want, God. Whatever you need is yours. It's all the merchants, all the stores, all the game rooms, all the, everything that took a dollar, gonna get one back. You know what I'm saying? And we are not gonna play with money no more because we know what money will do to them. And we know what money will make people do. So we ain't messing with money no more. We getting out of them neighborhoods, it's got wood houses in it. Everybody move into suburbs. Get out the ghetto. If you're living in a wood house, go on and pack up. If it's got vinyl, pack up too. You know what I'm saying? We ain't fucking with that. We're making all new brick houses. Ghettos, remember them, say bye-bye, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to you know, elaborate on how I grew up in the ghetto. So I understand, I just didn't have gangs around me at the time I come through. So, you know, I just didn't pay no attention to him. And I'm sorry that I didn't have more to say to him. You know what I'm saying? But man, um, whoo, shit. Y'all make me wanna cry, man, just sitting up here being God. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, damn, man, this shit. This shit be tripping, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I got that PTSD real bad, you know what I'm saying? Because when you find out you God, it's like you can't talk as God all the time until you graduate. 
And I graduated a long time ago. I talked as God without smoking dope. But I had to get everybody else to hear and knowing what I say, you know what I'm saying? So we all had to get high, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry about that, you know what I'm saying? I had to put it in stores, you know what I'm saying? Put it in stores and game rooms and all that for a little while. People get it, you know what I'm saying? And everybody get on the same page, you know what I'm saying? That, that was my theory, you know what I'm saying? Get all y'all on the same page. That's when we had the legal weed. But then, you know, I graduated to regular marijuana, you know what I'm saying? And it gave me the ability to talk and do what I need to do in the God's world, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody can have that ability. You all can have this ability to talk before you know you talking and stuff like that and talk after you used to talk and talk before you talk sometimes, talk before you talk in between talking and making it into a knot. That's what I just did, you know what I'm saying? See, I take them sentences, man, and ball them up, you know what I'm saying, and watch you shoot it in that garbage pill if it was one in here, Michael Joy. That's what I would think of you. Balling up papers at your desk, shooting them at the trash can. Because uh, what kind of job would Michael Jordan have? Writing a book, something like that. Well, Adam has gained all the money in the world he could have. The PNC Bank, First Convenience Bank. First Convenience Bank is where I'm coming to. And I'm telling them, I'm calling them, tell them, hey man, it's God now. I don't want to hear no shit out of y'all. I want a truck and a house, and I need them fast. That's what I'm gonna tell them, you know what I'm saying? Both of them, tell them just like that. And get my quick crib and quick truck and then everybody else can start getting stuff, you know what I'm saying, and figure out a way to do it. But I'm gonna get my stuff next week, you know what I'm saying, Wednesday, man, and I'm paying my phone bill some kind of way, man. And then, you know what I'm saying, I'm on uh, get my uh, truck. So I don't wanna hear no noise out of nobody at the bank. But yes, sir, no, sir. Because this God talking now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm forever talk. You know what I'm saying? Shit. 33 more years ain't shit. 91, here I come. Can't die right here. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. TJ, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what year you gonna go, but you gotta go, man. If you don't change your attitude and apologize, you know what I'm saying? That's all I say, you know what I'm saying? Because it don't make no sense to have problems like that you got. And then want to have something to do with fixing neighborhoods and this and that after you are found guilty of all that. Man, you can sit your ass down somewhere. You know you can't have business in God's business no more. After you messed up God's business and interfered with his son, had him killed, all that good stuff, how can you be Mr. T. Jakes helping God when you was against God? Huh? Way you walk against God and then want a trophy and <laughs> brag on killing Jesus?
there's part of your divine mission is something that you're meant to be doing. It could have something to do with your psychic gifts or abilities, possibly, for some of y'all. And what it is, is if you were using them, it's like somebody was trying to make you believe that you're um, doing something that's evil or you're doing something that um, is against God or the ways that you think are against God or whatever the case may be to try to keep you from doing something that's actually really valuable for you, that's actually really helping a lot of people and it's something that you're meant to be doing, okay? Uh, if you're incorporating something new into your situation or into your practices, they don't want you incorporating that new thing because it makes them feel less than or it makes them um, question their own stances on things or it makes them feel like you're against them when you're not. You're just speaking truth or you're just sharing truth or you're just doing what you're meant to be doing as part of your divine mission. Some of you all may have um, some very, very miraculous gifts or abilities, okay? Yeah, so something that you incorporated recently, you may be very excited about it because you tried something new and it actually was widely successful. It was very successful, okay? Um, or for others of you, it will be. It will be. This has something to do with doing some, something that you love to do or expressing some sort of truth or um, bringing justice to a situation, but it may require you to be on your own or to stay to yourself for a little while. Some of you all, some sort of time to yourself has given you a revelation of some sort. It's helped you to see the truth about something or someone, okay? Or there's something significant about a powerful revelation that somebody could have had recently. If you don't express everything about yourself or if you don't share a lot about yourself... Someone could be trying to make you feel like you're a fraud or you're a scammer or you're a liar or a schemer or whatever because you don't share certain things about yourself. The reason that they're doing that is to try to get you to share more about yourself so that they can then try to use those that information against you, okay? To try to somehow keep you from succeeding at something or again, like I said earlier, to taint the public image of you. You're defeating demons. Wow. 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 <laughs> You're defeating some sort of demons. You're defeating them by not even like doing what it is that they want you to do or engaging with them the ways that they want you to engage with them. Or they're trying to figure out your strategy or your plan somehow so that they can find a way to stop it or that they can find a way to block it. Because you're very victorious in this situation. There was some sort of secret deals of some sort. They could have been paid to do this to you. Okay, or they're trying to figure out who you're involved with, where you're getting some sort of knowledge or wisdom from. How are you attaining some sort of success? Wow. There's some sort of accomplishment here, though. It's something that you accomplished. It's really, really, really powerful. That's what I'm saying. They want you to feel guilty about some sort of success that you have or some sort of power that you have. They want you constantly debating them, arguing with them, um, stressed out, not feeling like you want to continue down a certain path of some sort. But you're being told not to let whoever or whatever these individuals are to make you insecure or to make you feel insecure. They're just trying to stop something from happening. The separation card is here on the table three times, y'all. Okay? This may have happened three different times that this same individual or the same group of people have tried to keep you from being able to uh, join together with someone or to form a union with someone or to keep you from being seen as someone that's valuable or that's worthy or to cause some sort of chaos, conflict, or strife in a situation. 
And these people at one point in time, they could have seemed like they were for you or that they really cared for you or that they were on your team, on your side, but they're actually not. They're either just simply for themselves, all right, or there's something else going on. Some sort of jealousy or envy possibly in the situation. But you have a lot of loving and uplifting connections. You have a lot of people that do care about you, that do love you, that do support you. All right, and they see who you are. They see the situation for what it really is. So you do not have to worry about this because it's gonna work out in your best interest, okay? You're very knowledgeable, you're very wise. Some of y'all, what this is, is somebody was trying to see what you know so that they can find a way to protect some sort of secrets or some sort of knowledge or some sort, some sort of wisdom that they may, may have or something like that. They didn't want you finding out about something or they're nervous that you're going to find out something about them. So they were trying to keep you confused. They were trying to keep you indecisive, not knowing which way to go, not knowing how to move forward with something, not knowing where to invest more of your time, efforts, and energy into, but you were able to break free from whatever it was these individuals were trying to do to you. Okay? You may have chosen a new path, a new method of some sort, but this is what they were trying to get you to do. No living being should ever eat processed food for every single meal of their life. Good, real food is simple. They look. Or to try to keep you from doing that. They want you to remain normal. They want you to seem like um, someone that you're not. Okay, they want you to blend in with everybody else. They don't want you to stand out. They don't want you to, to, that's what I mean by you're like trying to block your divine mission. Okay, so that's what this is. It's like you're very extravagant or you're very knowledgeable. You're very wise or you're very um, good at something that you do or you're just you. Okay, and part of what your divine mission is, is to be this way. And so... It's like if they could try to keep you from being that way, they can try to keep you from succeeding at this divine mission and then cause some sort of problems, issues in your situation to where you're not able to achieve the success that you're destined to achieve. But whatever they were doing, it's not, it's not successful, okay? And it won't be. It's like they were trying to keep you from following your passions or from feeling passionate about something or from wanting to invest more in someone or in something, something that you're meant to invest in, something that you're meant to do, a path that you're meant to go down. It could have something to do with some sort of product that you're creating or some sort of art or some sort of um, job field some sort of degree of some sort that you're trying to attain a business um a relationship a union it's like they want you to fear being judged so that you don't continue moving forward on this path you have to you have to be okay with people judging you People saying that you're lying. People saying that you're not legit. People saying that you're not real. People trying to um, secretly compete with you, okay? That's just the nature of reality, right? It's just what it is. It's because you're defeating demons. And you're feeling great about it. <laughs> you're fulfilled, okay? You're fulfilling these divine missions, these divine contracts that you have. Someone may see you as godlike or goddess-like, or you have some sort of godlike or goddess-like gifts or abilities. Again, you're like a warrior. You have some sort of warrior spirit. They're trying to break that down, break that out of you. They will never be able to. You're very in tune with your emotions, so it's almost like they're trying to play off your emotions to get you to become emotionally unstable or to like make you not be able to hear the divine messages that you hear or see the things that you see so that you can't be successful with whatever this is. But you succeeded regardless, y'all. A massive, major success, okay? Justice is being served. 
All right, y'all. So with that being said, I love y'all. I wish y'all the best with this situation. And I will see you soon. You know it just came to me, you know what I'm saying? When it say, you know, he was smitten by God. Well, he was smitten by God, you know what I'm saying? But people didn't know that they was God smiting Jesus, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But don't put it on God Almighty, you know what I'm saying? Because God Almighty ain't got no bad bone in his body, you know what I'm saying? Or his heart, or nothing his spirit is all about. He's got no unlove in it. You know what I'm saying? Everything we got is love. You know what I'm saying? We all love. God is love. And God God is love. And we make love. You know what I'm saying? And the love we make are the children of God. You know what I'm saying? God. Ain't no such thing as a small G. That's just a child. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no... Small G, big G, me and man ain't shit and God is everything. That's the way it's supposed to be, but then you know you ain't never looked at it like that. You know you for the people to write the stuff that they wrote about God, man, you know they didn't really know me, man. You know I ain't gonna be hurting nobody and stuff like that. I told y'all, man, how does it feel to know what I know? You know what I'm saying? How do you feel to know what I know? I need to play Exodus tonight. You know what I'm saying? How does it feel to know what I know? Satan let my people go, Exodus. Remember that? Boy, that shit was hot back then, you know what I'm saying? Of God coming in, you know what I'm saying? Scamming the shit out of people. Talking shit. That's when the first crash, 2008, you know what I'm saying? God came. Yeah, they stole all that money, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't let them steal no more. I'm on TV. I'm God. All the bank needs to know is who I am, and they pay me. Shit. All I want is my money. I get it from Dow Chemical, Philip 66, or the bank. I'm God. Pay me for my air, motherfucker, that you breathe. Or get off the goddamn phone. Pay for my motherfucking truck in my house. That's all I want to hear out you. Shit. You know what I'm saying? It's God. Now. Shit. I'm going to get off this thing, man, and talk to y'all people later. I love y'all, man. Peace.